Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new comedy Sick Girl. And this is from writer-director Jennifer Cram, who has been a casting assistant, interesting enough, in a lot of films, big films. But here brings us a story about Ren, played by Nina Dobrev, who is a little disappointed that a lot of her friends are having kids, moving into this new era of their lives, and they're not really connecting anymore. So she lies about having cancer to try to get their attention again, and it spirals into a crazy story. Now, we have certainly seen these kinds of stories before, that the it's like getting caught in a lie kind of story, and... Generally, it hits a lot of the same beats. It certainly has a lot of those cringy moments. But there are actually beats where you have Ren who connects with Leo, played by Brandon Michael Smith, who actually has cancer. And their dynamic kind of takes the story in a bit of a different way that's actually interesting and something a little fresh when it comes to stories like this. Even though by the end, the film kind of leans into those tropes again or like... Well, we have to forgive her, right? Kind of thing. But I feel like what really stands out about this film is the chemistry of the cast. I think Dobrev does a great job as Ren. She's a charismatic lead. Uh, Stephanie Koenig, Sherry Cola, and Haley Magnus are her friends. And they're a lot of fun. And this movie's legitimately funny. Has a very specific sense of humor about it. Um, and... It's so comfortable being awkward and uncomfortable in the kind of like darkness that the subject matter is circling around that it frees itself to be able to be that funny. And it's just this cast is so committed to it. Cram has some really great writing in terms of some of the dialogue and you get a lot of laughs out of it. I laughed quite a bit during this and so did my wife. She was getting a huge kick out of this film. I think the acting goes a long way. I think Cram's writing goes a long way in terms of that. And the fact that this film does uh, try to shift things around in terms of how exactly it plays out these tropes and everything. And in the end, I think it does accomplish what it's trying to do, even if it does feel like it softens itself a little bit to try to be a little bit more mainstream, maybe give a little bit of a quote-unquote happier ending. But strong cast, great energy from director and the cast really brings a fun vibe to this film and with a pretty dark sense of humor. And I think that's what makes it even more interesting and how it does deal with empathy and aging and evolving as a human being, it has some good themes about it too. So it has something to say, it'll make you laugh, you'll have a fun time, and that's what's most important. But those are my thoughts on Sick Girl. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.